Hey everyone, my name is Arthur and today I'm going to show you how to make basic interactions with objects and like pick up. If you want, you can also sit down on a bank. Also, you can if you want choose to talk to an NPC. Hey, what must do here? Wanna sit some hours in Jäger. So now, before we start with the tutorial, make sure you have a third or first person character controller. You can get one for free in the asset store from the Unity Technologies um, account. Just download the standard assets um, package and then uh, you can start straight away. So first off, we need to create a character, a terrain and an item. And that's the item we will interact with. Make sure you set this trigger on and drag the collider a bit bigger. So to start with, we need a script which will cast a raycast in front of our player so we can detect what's in front of us. So, to start off, I will initialize a couple of variables um, and I will explain always after I finish some code. So, to explain quickly what will happen over here, uh, we set up a couple of variables raycast point will be the point where we will shoot the raycast from if you don't assign that one here the game object by itself will be set to the raycast point uh, which will be usually the player but sometimes you will want a different raycast point that's why we set it up and also we set up a private and a static variable to get the distance and the target from the target Just quickly to show you, that's the function I meant before with the raycast point. If raycast point is null, we set it as default the player to it or the game object itself. Otherwise, we will we can assign a custom um, a custom raycast point. Just to explain what just happened here in the closest raycast function, we set up a new variable, a raycasted variable, and we shoot the raycast from the raycast point, which we just set up over here, and uh, we shoot it towards uh, the forward direction of our raycast point, and whatever we hit, we transform the game object to our target and also the distance or distance from target variable. If uh, we don't hit anything, we set the target to null. Let's try it out in the scene. Uh, we have the player casting variable uh, script over here. Make sure you attach your player movement script to that. Let's click on our play again. Um, the raycast point, we will leave it empty as it will get assigned automatically. And uh, distance from target and target will get assigned while we uh, loop through the scene. So we just turn our cube or let's say our player, we hit the target and the target is the item and we also get the distance from the uh, item over here. So now let's go ahead and set up our item. What we need is um, an item script, but also an interactable script to inherit from. We will start with the interactable script. So as before, I will start with some um, setup and then I will explain afterwards. So we just set up an uh, interactable uh, 
class where we will inherit from, we set up some events or let's say delegates where we will subscribe functions from the attackable objects to. If you don't know anything about the events or delegates, please make sure you check out some uh, tutorials for that since we won't cover that in this tutorial. If you want a delegate and event system uh, tutorial from my side, just let me know in the description, uh, in the comments, sorry. Now let's create an item script for the item. We, we just click on add component, we add an item, and then we keep going forward. Just quickly to explain what just happened here. First off, we inherit uh, from the intactable script so we can subscribe to our delegates. Then we start with a quick uh, small function on intact with where we decide if we want to intact with a player or with an NPC. Now we just finished with the intact with player function and we will add it right over here. Just to explain you what is the entity, the entity is always the, the entity which tries to access with the item. In our case it will be the player, but it also can be an NPC or something else. Now we still need a small function to stop intact with the player. Now we have set up this function on stop intact with, we need, still need to assign it to our delegate in the intactable um, class, but just to make, uh, to show you uh, that you still can write a function to stop to intact with the item or maybe it will be an NPC or an emboss or something else. In our case, we have an item which we will destroy after picking it up. So we don't really need that function. But just to show you that it still, um, that it still exists and that you st still can um, assign it or you, that you still should assign it. Now let's go to our last script which we need to create, we need to click on the player and we need to tell the player to interact with an item. So we need a script called player interaction. Now we just set up two variables which will determine how far the item should be so we can access it and the target if it's in range or not. Now we have set up the function check for interaction. Uh, where we check if the target is not null and that the distance from the target is smaller or equal to desired destination from target. If that happens, we try to get the component from the target intactable. If the target have the component intactable, we can try to uh, intact with the target. Otherwise, we said target is not in range and we cannot intact with it. We still need one more function and then we're uh, ready to go. So now we have the function intact with target. If the target is in range, we debug as a quick lock so we know that the target is in range. If we press then the button E, we will invoke the delegate function which will be right over here. As we subscribe to the item, the function on intact with 
that function would get called after we press E. If we press escape, we stop interacting with the item. Since it's, it is an item, we won't need this part. But it's just for you to see how you can do this. Also for you to see, we make here an arrow function where we cast the game object, which means the player itself, to the target interact function, which require a game object right over here. We still need to call the check for interaction function in the update loop. Now we're ready to try the whole thing out in the Unity engine. That's it. We turn the player, we press E, so the game object gets destroyed, which means we just pick it up. Now we still can move and try to do whatever we want. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you had fun to watch the tutorial if you re want another tutorials or whatever you are searching for just let me know in the comments down below and i try my best to make a tutorial for that and um yeah that's it